I'm Zed. What's your name? Addison. Nice to meet you. All clear. <laughs> Hey there homies, what's up and welcome back to our channel. Zombies is an American musical and dance Disney Channel original movie that was released in 2018. The film is based on Zombies and Cheerleaders by David Light and Joseph Rasso. The theme of the movie is how a zombie football player falls in love with a human cheerleader and makes efforts for their groups to coexist in order to get their love. This love story has won the hearts of many. If you're a real Zombies fan, you must know all of these facts that we're going to share with you in this video. But before we do that, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you can be notified more videos like these in the future. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, Comment the keyword hidden in the video and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. Zet's Colored Hair In the 2012 original, Zombies and Cheerleaders, which is the inspiration for the 2018 musical Zombies, Zet didn't have colored hair. He just had a bit of green splatter on his forehead. Disney wanted the zombies to stand out, and for this, they went through a long process of choosing the right hair color for Zed. Before the color green was final, Milo Mannheim had to dye his hair several times including the color red, neon, teal, and yellow tips. He was also asked by Disney to have a rainbow dye in his hair. After conducting several experiments on Zed's hair, they finally decided to keep it green. We couldn't have imagined Zed's hair to be of any other color than green. Well, did you know this? If yes, then you must be a true Zombies fan like us. On my side. Bonzo has a language. All of the zombies in the movie were able to speak and understand the human language except one, Bonzo. He only knew the zombie language and we all never paid attention to what he was saying. We all thought he was just speaking gibberish and had no meaning to it, but the truth is otherwise. Actor James Godfrey, who played Bonzo, knew exactly what he was saying. His lines had meanings which we weren't able to understand quite well, but what we got from him in the movie was portrayed through his actions and emotions. Only the fans who did their research would have known about the secret language of Bonzo. Now when you know his words had meanings, you must be wondering what he was speaking. Well, so do we. We just hope that one day James would let us in on the secret language. Come on, you guys, we're in a real school. No more classes in a dingy basement. Oh, it's okay. <sighs> cast in Canada. The movie Zombies was shot in Toronto, Canada, and the whole cast and crew had to travel from Los Angeles to Canada for shooting. We've seen many fans asking the cast about the time they spent in Canada and whether they did anything other than shooting. It would have been unjust if the cast had to spend all their time in Canada in a hotel room or a movie set. But don't worry, our favorite zombies and cheerleaders knew exactly how to have fun. They used to sneak out of their hotel and sets every time they got the chance to spare. They would go shopping, dancing clubs, fancy restaurants, and more. Seems like they enjoyed every minute of their trip. With a bond as strong as them, we can say that they had the time of their lives. Hey. Hey, these are my friends. We don't have human friends. The meanest is actually the nicest. Disney was successful in getting the nicest cast for its musical Zombies, but at some point, every viewer has doubted the nicety of the actor who played the character Bucky, Trevor Torchman. He had the most negative role and was always seen bullying and making fun of the zombies for being different from the cheerleaders. There were points when the audience even cursed him for being so rude to Zed and everyone thinks the same about the actor. Well, if you think the same, you couldn't be more wrong because in reality, Trevor is actually the nicest member of the cast. Those who follow him on social media love him for his sweetness. McDonnelly posted a picture of her and Trevor on her Instagram with a caption mentioning how sweet and funny Trevor actually is. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Tiger. 
Kylie's goat fanning obsession. Wondering what this is? Honestly, even we didn't even know there was such a thing until we heard Kylie talk about it. Only a diehard zombie fan would know about Eliza's goat fanning obsession. If you follow Kylie, the actor who played Eliza in an interview, she told us that she's obsessed with watching cows and goat videos, especially the ones in which goats faint. This is a weird thing to be obsessed about, but when we saw those videos on the internet, they are quite adorable. Do some grammar or something. This is supposed to be chemistry. Look, 45 minutes ago I was a janitor kid, so... Milo gave 11 auditions. Yep, you read that right. Milo had to go through 11 different auditions for his part in Zombies. During an interview, he told us that he was spotted by a casting agent during one of the many musicals he did, and then he had to give 11 different auditions for the part of Zed, including the taped ones and the in-person ones. He also had to give an audition with McDonnelly to check the chemistry between both the actors. Well, all this hard work and patience paid off, and he was finally cast in the lead role of Zed in this Disney hit. Eleven auditions do require a lot of patience, and we're glad Milo went through with it because no one would make a better Zed than him. Against the wall. Let's go. These drills are offensive and driven by zombie phobia. No talking against the wall. Fire. Amelia is a published author. The mean girl from the cheerleader squad, Lacey, has won the hearts of millions with her acting. But did you know that she's also the most intelligent among the whole cast? She knows how to speak French and Italian, and not only that, the most shocking fact about her is that she had her book published when she was only 8 years of age. That's a pretty huge thing for an 8 year old to do. Who would have thought that mean girls can be intelligent as well? I know this is scary Brie, but there's a zombie safe room right there, it's gonna be okay. McDonnelly can do anything. You name one thing and we're pretty sure our Addison will know how to do it. She's an excellent dancer, a remarkable actor, a beautiful singer, but that's not all. Only a few of her fans know that she's a surfer girl as well. In an interview with Just Jared, Meg talked about her love for surfing and scuba diving. She said that scuba diving is one of her favorite things. She also showed her love for hiking. She said she's really into the view from the top. She mentioned that she's a firm believer of YOLO and wants to enjoy life to its fullest. We told you, Addy, zombies are not safe. One Man Band James Godfrey, the actor who plays Bonzo in the movie, can apparently play over 32 different musical instruments. We promise we didn't stutter, and if you didn't follow us, we'll say it again. Bonzo can play over 32 different musical instruments. How awesome is that? It seems our favorite indecipherable zombie seems to be naturally gifted at music, which is something that only real Bonzo fans would know about. He's classically trained. <gasps> It's all about the hair. The movie shows the distinction between the zombies and humans through hair. Zombies had dark green hair, whereas humans had normal blonde, brown, or black hair. What fans don't know about, however, is that Milo was the only actor who dyed his hair dark green while the rest of the zombies simply wore a dark green wig. Milo really put a lot of effort into the movie, and because of that, he did deserve the leading role. Another fact that most fans are unaware of is that Addison herself wore a wig, because as you know, or as real fans might know, McDonnelly has white hair in real life, which is why she had to try different brown, red, and blonde wigs. More interesting is that the wig she wore was actually made of real horse hair and cost her a fortune. Well, she did look amazing, so it's justified. I'm gonna sing. Yeah. I'm gonna sing. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. This brings us to the end of our video, which we hope you guys enjoyed. Do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. 
hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified of more videos like this in the future. We bid you all a good day, night, afternoon, or wherever you may be. Until next time, take care and goodbye.